Today we are going to go over how to remove the OEM bumper and install the Addictive Desert Design Stealth Fighter rear bumper on your 2019 to current Ram 1500. Underneath the rear passenger side of the truck, unplug the main bumper harness connector. Remove the two plastic clips and two bolts that sit in the license plate area of the OEM bumper. Unplug the connector on the back side of your trailer plug. Then remove that trailer plug from the OEM bumper by pressing in the tabs on the back side of the plug and pushing it out the front of the bumper. From the back side of the bumper, remove the two bumper mounting nuts per side. Once you've removed these nuts from both sides, you can remove the OEM bumper from the vehicle. Remove the key sensor from your OEM bumper. Do this by squeezing the tabs on the two fasteners that hold it in place. Unplug the key sensor as you remove it from your bumper. Remove the two bolts from this key sensor. Remove the parking sensors from their outer mounting rings by spreading the two tabs on the back side of the mounting rings and pushing the parking sensors out the back side of those rings. Keep track of the position and orientation these sensors come off your OEM bumper so you can install them on your new bumper in the same position and orientation. Remove the bolts that hold the lower plastic trim pieces to the OEM bumper. The outer pieces have three bolts each while the inner pieces have two bolts each. With all the bolts removed, remove these trim pieces from the bumper. Take a putty knife or something similar and work it in between the sensor ring mounting plate and the plastic trim piece. Use that scraper to cut through the plastic welds that are holding the mounting ring plate to the trim piece. Once these plastic welds have been broken, the sensor rings will be free. Keep track of the position and orientation these rings come off your OEM bumper so you can install them on your new bumper in the same position and orientation. Remove the wiring harness from the OEM bumper by releasing the series of plastic clips that hold it to the bumper. Unplug the connectors on the back side of the license plate lights as you remove this harness. Remove the one mounting bolt per side that hold the license plate lights in place. Then remove the license plate lights from the bumper. Make sure to save these mounting bolts. Remove the two nut clips that are on the metal bracket just below the tailgate in the back side of the truck. Use the supplied zip ties to secure the key sensor to the bracket that you just removed the two nut clips from. Hold the two innermost sensor rings in place on the bumper, putting them into their pre-cut holes from the back side. Then mark the ring mounting plates. You will have to cut off any material that interferes with the bumper panels and welds. This picture displayed right now shows where to cut your mounting plates. Everything with a red X will need to be cut off. Install the parking sensor mounting rings onto your new bumper. To do this, you will need to apply epoxy or something similar to the front face of the mounting plate on the sensor mounting rings. Then hold them in place on your bumper until the adhesive sets. Make sure to install these in the same position and orientation as they came off your OEM bumper. Once the adhesive is set on your sensor rings, push the parking sensors into those rings from the back side until they click into place. Make sure to install these in the same position and orientation as they came off your OEM bumper. Install the trailer plug into your new bumper by pressing it into its pre-cut hole. If your trailer plug is loose on your new bumper, you can use a small pry bar or something similar to spread the tabs out on the back side of the plug. Install your license plate lights using the supplied license plate light brackets. Match the shape of your license plate lights to the shape of your license plate light mounting holes to make sure you have them in the right position. Then put the bracket into place. Make sure the wider tab on the mounting bracket is towards the top of the bumper. Then install the OEM license plate light bolt. Do not over tighten this bolt as it is very easy to break the license plate light housing. Only tighten the bolt enough to prevent movement from your license plate lights. Do not go any tighter. If you have any lights to install on your bumper, now is a good time to do so. Mount the light to the light tab on your new bumper using the hardware supplied by the light manufacturer. 
Then follow the light manufacturer's install guide for wiring information. Install the supplied U-nuts onto the four mounting holes on your new bumper. Set the bumper harness in place on your new bumper. Plug in all the license plate light and parking sensor connectors. Set the bumper in place in the vehicle. Then use the supplied 3 8 inch hex head bolts and washers to secure the bumper to the vehicle. Leave these bolts loose for now. Once you have the bumper positioned how you'd like, go back and tighten the mounting bolts. For exact torque specs, visit our website at addoffroad.com and take a look at the written installation guide for this product. Plug the key sensor connector into the key sensor. Then plug the main bumper harness connector in. Stand back and enjoy your new Addictive Desert Design Stealth Fighter rear bumper. Visit our website at addoffroad.com to browse our selection of products for not only the new Ram 1500, but also all other newer makes and models of trucks.